Okay. I'm here with Brian Call, and I purchased this photograph from him. I first found out about Brian when I was traveling back from Naples, and I stopped at the Clyde Butcher Gallery in the Big Cypress on Tamimi Trail. And he is one of the only artists that they featured, other than Clyde, who does nature photography. And I fell in love with this piece and decided to buy it for my new office. And Brian was nice enough to come and deliver it here at our Pinecrest office. And I just thought I'd ask a few questions about the piece. So it's named Reflections, and I'll let you talk yes. about how, how you took it. So yeah, well, um, I was at the Daring Estate at Cutler, and um, uh, I was shooting, uh, you know, for uh, their purposes as far as uh, getting images for their website. Um, and so this storm just uh, kind of came up out of nowhere, and uh, I was amazed at how active it was. So I had to put uh, that project aside and uh, just take shots of this storm, which was amazing. So, so Brian, how did you meet Clyde, and how oh. did it come to be that he's uh, featuring you? That's a great distinction for you, right? Oh, of course. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Uh, that's, not, that, that's nothing that um, I, I take for granted at all. Um, uh, but yes, I, I met Clyde and Nikki through my conservation efforts with um, you know, uh, protecting the Florida panther. Um, I got involved with panther issues when um, I found a roadkill Florida panther kitten. And um, through, um, through those efforts um, of getting involved to protect the panthers, um, I met Clyde and Nikki and um, we kind of you know, clicked as far as our, our same kind of message of protecting the environment and um, you know really caring and loving um, Great. the environment. Has most of your photography been nature photography and what's your background? Do you have a degree in art or photography? Where did you go to school? Uh, I went to school at Montserrat College of Art with a diploma and uh, it was an accredited school at the time. It, it is now and I'm considering you know, going back. Where is that located? It's in Beverly, Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. And so um, I've got a very strong uh, fine art background, uh, great foundation. And I didn't, uh, I didn't study photography when I was there, but everything that I learned has applied to what I do with my photography. And if I could just ask a couple more questions, what's mm -hmm. the type of camera you use, the negative, and how yeah, do you I'm, apply it to how I'm you shooting did it? all digital, mm -hmm. uh, all Nikon digital cameras. Um, uh, this is this was shot with the Nikon D three hundred, and um, I'm also shooting with the GoPro and getting stills off of off of video that nice. I that I take. So we get to do some pretty exciting stuff underwater, and uh, I, I enjoy that very much. And as far as the resolution of the picture, how do you get it to be such a good quality? Um, you, you have to set the camera settings at the highest quality settings possible. So the lowest, the lowest ISO, uh, I think for that camera it was 100 uh, ISO. Um, and the shutter speed? Shutter speed can vary. Uh, this was probably around a two second exposure for each of the shots that I took uh, to, to create this panorama. So I got my lightning shots and then um, once I got enough, then I continued taking the, the rest of the, the series uh, to, to create this image. And then I bring all of those digital files into Photoshop and put it all together. I and, see. Um, much like Clyde does in the dark room, um, I just do it digitally. So everything is done. Um, mostly what I do are dodging and burning techniques in Photoshop and, um, you know, to um, bring out certain areas, not certain areas back. Very much, very similar too to uh, techniques that I, I learned while I was um, studying uh, painting, over painting. Because of the long shutter exposure, mm -hmm. the camera then obviously had to be on a tripod, correct? Yes. Okay. Yeah, this is that how tripod. most of your work is done? Yes. Then in low light situation? Yes. Okay. Yeah, definitely. You definitely need to be on a tripod, but there are other times where I'm on a kayak or I'm underwater, or right. you know, just in a situation okay. where um, I don't have a tripod with me, or it's just not feasible to, to do that. 
And is some of your work featured in the park? Does the park use you for some of their photography? I understand some of your photographs are used in their literature, is that mm -hmm. right? Yes. Uh, in fact, uh, um, Everglades National Park has um, an image of mine that they use on the cover of their pamphlet that they hand out. Nice. To what is that of? It's the uh, it's a shot of the um, Paiyoki uh, Boardwalk and uh, the, the um, sawgrass prairie that you see behind it. So it's, uh, they they really wanted um, you know a sense of the Everglades in that shot with people, and so that was an interesting uh, day uh, when I when I went out there. It was summertime, and there were there were no people, <laughs> and I just heard this one car driving the road to get to the Paiyoki. So it was a, a couple from Japan, and so um, they got out. They walked the boardwalk, and I kind of snuck. You know, kind of behind them, I got my shots. Good. Well, congratulations. Thank you again for hand delivering this today. All right. I'm real proud. My, to own my it. pleasure. And, and thank you. Great meeting you. All right. Okay. Same Take care. Mm -hmm.